Hello everybody and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. This is the uh, my second tutorial series I guess you could say. And I decided to go with uh, Photoshop. I wasn't going to go more into photography but I decided that you know if you learn the beginning of photography you should learn the, the beginning basics of Photoshop because digital photography and Photoshop go hand in hand and uh, you know it's, it's like it, you have to know both in order to get the most out of your digital camera. You got to know how to use your computer and you got to be confident in adjusting your pictures and doing what your camera can't do on your computer. So there's so much you can do in Photoshop. Um, there's a world of possibilities. This is going to be our beginner course. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the basics on um, how you can uh, like basically just, you know, correct your pictures, make them more alive, make them more vibrant. And we're going to, we're going to go over um, a lot of things in this tutorial. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to come down here and uh, we're going to go into our Photoshop. We're going to find Photoshop click on Photoshop and that opens up Photoshop, okay? Uh, Photoshop is a, a very intricate program, there's a lot to it, but it's, uh, you know, it's not something to be afraid of. You just go in, you do it, take it to it and you can do it, you know? Um, so we're gonna start by opening a file, it's as easy as this. You go to File, up here on your top menu, Open, and then you find where you have your file at. I happen to know that my file's in here under PMP, which is uh, Photo Magic Productions. And we are gonna open up 3185 and this is the beautiful Megan Tandy and uh, I choose her picture because well she's gorgeous and I love Megan Tandy she's awesome so um, Megan is a uh, former Miss California um, third runner-up in the Miss USA I think she should have won she was robbed um, but anyhow um, what we're doing here is we're gonna take a look at Megan's picture what I'm gonna show you first off is um, I'm gonna show you the the uh, the workspace so the workspace basically consists of all this stuff here. So everything that's around here, around the top and down the side, all this stuff, you do your picture right here in the middle. This is your, this is your workspace. Everything here is the workspace. So um, right over here, we have uh, all these little things. This is your history palette. There's different palettes, okay? So don't worry too much about what they do right now, but just know that here's where, this is your brushes palette. There's all these different palettes here. Uh, layers is a big one. Um, history palette is a big one. Navigator, histogram, all that stuff, you know, they're okay, but you know, they're, they're not necessary. Uh, I'm going to adjust the workspace right now and I'll show you, you know, what's going on. So you'll get to understand it. Don't worry too much about that, okay? Right here, these are all your basic tools, okay? So we're not going to learn all of them. Don't worry about that. We're going to learn the ones that we're going to use. The move tool comes in handy. The, um, the little hand tool comes in handy. Selection tools come in handy. The pen tool is a big one. Uh, the, stamp, the stamp tool. So we're going to go deeper into what those do. Uh, this up here is your, your menu bar and basically you can find everything that you can do um, in this program within these menus here. Uh, you can also do them with short keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to go over keyboard shortcuts and stuff with you. If you look on here, uh, you know, here's file to open. That's where we went to open. You can make a new document. You can open a document. You can browse. But if you notice right here, there's these cool little things. So if I wanted to open a document, I didn't have to come to file open. All I had to do was press uh, this little key right here is the command key for, for apples. Uh, it's the apple key, but um, on uh, PCs, it's, it's the uh, control key. So anytime you see this little design, when I press it, if I press command O, it should come up on the screen. And it, it, but just, you know, if you're on a PC, just know that you just hit control. That little doohickey there is the command key on a Mac control on a, on a uh, PC. So uh, also in here, if I hit the control key, it comes up as this little icon there. And if I click, that's like right cl clicking. So if ever you see that come up in a click and you're on a PC, that's just right click. Uh, Macs don't have a right click, okay? So you think you're better than me? But um, you know, so so there we go. So um, if you look right here, every time I pick one of these, this little menu bar changes right here. So these are these are specific to each tool. So each tool has specific, um, specific uh, I guess, attributes that you can do that help control specifically what that tool does to give you a better range of control. So um, that that comes in handy. That's all part of your uh, part of your workspace, part of the interface of using the program. So we're just learning how to do the interface right now. Actually, that's about that. You know, we're, I'm just going to show you what they are and then we're going to go in. We're going to work, 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 work. And you're going to see these things in action as I go. So, you know, just we're going to jump right into it. I don't want to bullshit. I don't want to take a lot of your time. Uh, I want to get these things to you and, you know, know what you're doing and when you want to do it. Now, this picture here, this is uh, Megan Tandy right here, like I said, and uh, we can zoom in. Here's a couple really quick uh, keyboard shortcuts. If you just press uh, Command Plus, or it's actually Apple Key Plus, this is going to zoom in, okay? And you press Apple Key Minus and you'll zoom out. So 
uh, whenever you, that comes in handy a lot. Whenever you need to, to use that to zoom in on something, if we're gonna we're gonna touch this up, we're gonna you know we're gonna do all sorts of things in this picture. Okay. Also, if I need to move the picture around, I hold the space bar down. It brings up my hand tool, and I do that. So all your tools are pretty reachable uh, through keyboard shortcuts. And the more keyboard shortcuts you know, the faster you can work, and the better. So uh, right here, I just pressed uh, Command O to resize it to the window, and it's perfect. So uh, this is these keyboard shortcuts are things that I use all the time, and you know you should do them. I, I totally condone keyboard shortcuts. I think people are jack-offs who don't use them. If you refuse to use keyboard shortcuts, you're a jack-off. And uh, you have to you know, use your keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you that. But you have to use your keyboard shortcuts and, and it just it speeds things up like you wouldn't believe once you start doing them. And, and it's just amazing. So um, if you look on any tool, if you just hover over any tool, uh, it'll say what the keyboard shortcut is. And that's what that little S is, right? It says clone snap tool and then it says S. So anything you want to do, what I do is if I want a tool and I don't know I don't know what the keyboard shortcut is, I hover over it and I never click it. I never do this to get to it. All I do is I go over it, I see what the keyboard shortcut is and then I click it just so I'll get used to doing it and eventually your brain will get used to it and you'll just click it. You won't have to go, you don't have to move away from your from what you're doing over here to get your tool out, okay? Um, now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to uh, set up your workspace. This is the way I set up my workspace. You don't have to do it this way but if you wanna follow along with me, what you wanna do is grab this whole palette here. These are called palettes. Everything's contained in palettes, and you're gonna move this palette over here. This is your layers palette. And you're gonna stretch it out so that you could use, you have more layers that you can see, okay? So you just grab this corner and you stretch it out. Over here, we don't need our navigator, histogram, and info. We just close that out. Uh, we can you leave that there, that's cool. We're gonna grab our history palette, which is gonna be very important. We're gonna dock that right underneath there, okay? That's called docking it in. This is called this is docking it. Boink, you put it away. So this is your actions. We'll learn those on some other day. But um, so these these tools aren't going to be too necessary. We're, maybe this uh, this character palette's going to come into play in a little bit, uh, but not till the end, okay? Uh, and like I said, we're going to learn as we go. So you know, stay 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 watching, and you'll learn a lot. 